the watchman of our souls, Pastor Dorian Richardson. Please welcome him with Preach the Word as he comes. Preach the Word! Praise God. Praise the Lord to this morning. Certainly he answers prayer. Walk with me, Lord. Oh, walk with me. Oh, walk with me, Lord. Oh, walk with me. Well, while I'm on this pilgrim journey, oh, I want Jesus. Oh, to walk with me. You want to walk with you? Oh, walk with me, Lord. Oh, walk with me. Oh, walk with me, Lord. Oh, walk with me. Well, while I'm on this oh, pilgrim journey, I need Jesus. I want Jesus to walk with me. Anybody need a guide this morning? Oh, God, my feet, Lord. Well, God, my feet. God, my feet, Lord. Oh, God, my feet. Well, while I'm on this pilgrim journey, I want Jesus oh, to walk with me. Hold my hand, Lord. Well, hold my hand, Lord. Oh, hold my hand, glory. Well, hold my hand, Lord. Oh, hold my hand. It gets dark out here while I'm on this pilgrim journey. I need Jesus. I want Jesus. Well, to hold my hand. Be my friend, Lord. Be my friend, Lord. Be my friend. Be the friend to the friendless. Be my friend, Lord. Oh, be my friend. Well, while I'm on this pilgrim journey, I want Jesus. I want Jesus. Oh, to walk with me. Hallelujah. Well, be my God, Lord. Oh, be my God. I can't make it by myself. Be my God, Lord. Oh, be my God. While I'm on this oh, pilgrim journey, I want Jesus. I want Jesus. Oh, to walk with me. Hallelujah. One more time. Oh, my hand, Lord, both of them. Oh, my hand. Yes, Lord. Amen. I don't know about you, but I need somebody. Glory to God. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. That's all right. That's all right. Hallelujah. You think it's if you think it's you think it's noisy now, wait till you get to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's gonna be really noisy in heaven. Amen. They're gonna be crying, holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. Glory. Worthy is he. Praise God. They're sitting on the throne. Praise God. Amen. I can't wait to get there. Amen. We're going to have a new body. Can the church say hallelujah? Amen. Every now and then we need God to just come in and kind of, praise God, kind of get to us a little bit. Can the church say amen? 
Amen. The spirit of God is precious. And I want to let you know that when you praise God in the church, you are fulfilling the mandate of scripture. Uh, you know, some people think we got a choir because the pastor want a choir. And we have a choir because the Bible said we're supposed to have one. For the scripture said he has ordained the singers in Zion. Can the church say amen? You better have a choir. You better have somebody singing. Can the church say amen? We better be opening up our mouth and saying hallelujah. Praise God. That's Bible. The church say amen. That's the word of God. Praise God. The word of God is right. Praise God. Can the church say hallelujah? Amen. Thank God he's given us uh, one more opportunity to be in the house of God one more time. Uh, to worship God. I also I want to make one other announcement. We had a little issue with our small van, uh, so we're going to be making some adjustments. We're supposed to be going to um, Christ Temple, Kalamazoo tonight, so we're going to be taking the big van. Uh, those who are, are supposed to be going, I uh, have to fulfill my commitment, so we're going to have to take the big van. And those of us who do drive the small van, we're going to be asking if the saints could be so kind as to carpool and to get uh, uh, those individuals who want to come to church tonight, because Bishop will be preaching, amen. Um, so we want you to um, get in contact and, and make sure you make it here. Can the church say amen? amen. And it wasn't, I was, was actually going to take the small van, but because um, something's wrong with it right now, we have to get it fixed. Amen. I'm going to have to take the big van. Can the church say amen? amen. I cannot let down my Suffolk Bishop. Praise the Lord. He asked me to come. I told him I would come. And so I have to fulfill my obligations. Can the church say amen? So please, saints, if you have room um, for night service, you can, if you could please help and get those who normally drive the big van, if you can help get them here. Uh, amen. The church, don't stay home. Can the church say hallelujah? Oh, hallelujah. Can I get an amen this morning? Amen. Come to church. Praise the Lord. Night service is important. Every service is important. Praise the Lord. I'm glad that when I can come to church, I don't know about you. Praise God. I'd rather be here than anywhere else. Amen. I came to church when, it, when, when I wasn't preaching. Can the church say hallelujah? When I wasn't teaching, I came to church. Praise the Lord. So let's get into the word of God. I don't want to prolong the service. Uh, let's go to saints. Let's go to uh, the fifth chapter of 2 Corinthians. Verses numbers 21, and also get in your hand, uh, verses numbers 1 and 2 of the 6th chapter. Praise the Lord. We will, can, we will read just in these few verses. Do you believe the word of God today? Amen. Man, God sometimes challenges our faith. Praise God. If you need the Holy Ghost today, you need to reach out to him right now. You don't even have to wait till I get done preaching. Open up your mouth, and the Bible said he would fill it. Can the church say amen? Oh, hallelujah. Chapters number five. Chapters number five, verses number 21, and then we'll continue into the sixth chapter. Second Corinthians. Yes, yes. When you have it, you can say amen. Amen. What did it say here? He has made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. We then as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, today for your word. Speak to us, O oh God, and help us to walk with you, O oh God, in the beauty of holiness, Lord. Give us what we need and help us to be those children of God without rebuke. Lord, we give you all the glory and we thank you, Lord, for you are certainly faithful and worthy to be praised. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let the Holy Spirit, oh God, the Holy Ghost, my God, fall in this place, Lord. In the name of Jesus, somebody needs you. My God, somebody needs you, Lord, like they need their next breath. My God, increase their faith, Lord. Help them, my God, to believe. 
My God, the word of God today. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. 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 Thank God today. Amen. Isn't his word good? Word is precious. Praise God. I want to talk to, to us today about God's greatest creation. God's greatest creation. Praise God. God is great, isn't he? We uh, know him, of course. Praise God as a creator. We know him as a healer. We know him as a way maker. And everything that he has done certainly is wonderful. It's precious. It's marvelous in our eyes. But God is... I think God prioritizes things that he deems most significant and important to us in the way that we look at his word. I want you to know that God, a man, had a specific thing in mind when he began to create the world, when he began to uh, formulate life in this uh, world that we are in. But there are some specific things that God wanted us to understand to, today in his word as to what he deems more important to those whom he has created. And then, and, and, and this verse today speaks of the fact, I believe, that the greatest thing that God ever did, greatest thing, we know God has done great things, but this particular verse speaks of the fact that God made somebody something that by nature they were not. In order to make those of us yes. praise God to be like him yes. there are a lot of people that think that when you look at the natural creation you look at the world around us you look at the beauty praise God of the creation of God the sun moon and stars those of us who have traveled around the world who have traveled a man abroad in this country have went over the California saw the redwood trees Praise God that they say have been growing for uh, somewhere around 2,000 years. You can actually drive cars through them. And many people have deemed that as one of God's or God's greatest creation. Praise God. There are people who deem uh, the natural things that God has made as the greatest, amen, thing that God has ever done. But I want you to know this morning that when we really, amen, examine the word of God, we would understand, praise God, the greatest thing that God ever made, amen, is that he formulated a plan, amen, before any one of us ever got here, amen, in as much as the Bible said he loved us, amen, before we were ever created, before we were ever made as it were, God, amen, gives these words to our apostle Paul, praise God, to pen, to help the church to understand the real reason, amen, why God has made everything that you see around you. I like the way David said when he penned, thank God, the wonderful words in the psalm. Where he tells us, amen, what is man that thou art mindful of him, amen, the son of man that thou would visit him. Who are we? That God who, hallelujah, that God, amen, who made everything around us, praise God, would hallelujah visit you. And the church say amen. Even, thank God, this book today speaks of the fact, thank God, in, that he uh, visited us. He came to us. He had a desire. And when you read, actually, in the book of Corinthians, you will find, amen, the theme in this book is that those that have been sanctified, those that have been set apart, amen, those that have been, 
amen, justified as it were, be through, amen, this one that was made something that he was not. And there are a lot of people today that are stuck, amen, on themselves thinking, praise God, that they are the greatest thing that ever existed. In fact, saints, when you look even in the world today, they are teaching our children, praise God, in schools that the universe, amen, the world uh, revolves around them. Everything is about you. Everything is about what you want. Everything is about what you think. But I want you to know the world does not revolve, praise God, around us. Amen. The world, saints, revolves around the word of God. It revolves around the one that was made, praise God, something that he was not. Amen. It was revolved around the fact that God made himself. <laughs> made. Thank God himself. Praise God to be sin for us. That we, you and I, that sit in the church right now, may be made the righteousness of God in him. And that's the reason I believe why Paul pins these words. Amen. Trying to get us to understand the central theme. Thank God of this book. As though if we are going to be made into what he wants us to be. Amen. It had to be that he himself Amen. Had to make himself, praise God, into something that he was not to bring us. Praise God to succor us as the scripture said. Praise God to aid us, praise the Lord. Amen. In this walk that we are in to get us to the place. Thank God that he wants us to be. I want you to know God. Amen. Did not have to do this, but his love. Thank God. Hallelujah. It compelled him to act. Thank God on our behalf. Did not the Bible say the love of God constraineth us? Amen. Paul speaks, thank God, as one of those that had this message. Praise God that had the word of God down on the inside. If you notice what he says, even in this, thank God, this book, he speaks of the fact, amen, that we are ambassadors for Christ. It is our job, thank God, to tell people, hallelujah, about what Jesus did. Hallelujah, and how he desires, thank God, to get us back unto himself. How he wants to make us, hallelujah, recreate us and get us, hallelujah, into the place where we, hallelujah, can be consecrated. Where we can be set apart for his glory. Uh, I want you to know God, hallelujah, speaks. Uh, amen. If he did not do this, saints, uh, where, thank God, would we be? How could we live? If God had not made this plan available to us. So I want you to know the greatest thing that God ever made. Is that God made Jesus to be something. Amen. That he was not no. Thank God he was not a sinner. Hallelujah. He was not a liar. Hallelujah. He was not a backbiter. He was not. Thank God. Hallelujah. Gossip. Hallelujah. He was none of these things. Oh, praise God. He had no guile in his mouth. You couldn't find anything on Jesus. Oh, but I want you to know God said because he loved us. He's going to make Jesus something. Hallelujah. That he was not. Read your Bible today. This right here, saints, is true love. Hallelujah. He loved us so much that he said. Amen. When I look at Jesus on the cross, I'm going to look at him as something, thank God, that he's not. He, hallelujah, he wasn't these things. But in order for God to allow that body, saints, amen, to hallelujah, live, amen, suffer and die, saints of God, God had to look at Jesus, praise God, something uh, amen that he was not can the church shout hallelujah the, and this is the reason why we sit in the church right now uh, amen we are sanctified because uh, hallelujah of God's greatest creation uh, some of us think praise God the greatest thing that God ever done uh, amen is what he did praise the Lord uh, in the things that we see around you but I want you to know uh, amen look at what he tells us he did it, praise God, that you might be made. Thank God, the righteousness of God in him. The, the Bible said he learned obedience, saints, by the things he suffered. Amen. God had to look at him. Amen. God had to praise God, whoop him. God had, amen, to do all of these things so that you can stand right now in the church, so that you can have the, hallelujah, right mind, a stable mind. 
mind uh, so that you can be praise God uh, amen accepted in the beloved uh, I want you to know he didn't have to do it but he did uh, somebody shout hallelujah in here uh, I'm talking the way you got out of your problem uh, and we got too many people that got issues uh, and they're trying to fix them on their own uh, but you can't fix it on your own you need Jesus uh, I heard the songwriter say uh, amen let Jesus fix it for you let him uh, you see what happens sometimes uh, is that when God is trying to fix the problem uh, sometimes we pick up the problem uh, and we are fumbling around with it we're trying to somehow uh, we're trying to somehow get it corrected on our own uh, but I want you to know that is a trick of the enemy uh, you cannot keep your mind clean uh, you can't keep your heart clean uh, you can't keep the devil out of your life uh, but you need this one that was made uh, amen in the image of you uh, that he owned it first so that he could get you out of your sin uh, I hope I'm talking to somebody this morning uh, I'm in love with Jesus I'm in love with him uh, I'm in love with the savior of the world uh, because when I wasn't what I should have been uh, God said I'm going to look at Jesus uh, so that I don't have to condemn you uh, I'm going to look at him. I'm going to put on him the sin of the world. I'm going to put on him all of your sin, all of your depravity, all of your carnal nature. Jesus, hallelujah, God heaped on Jesus. Amen, the sin of a psalm. I wish I had a church that believed today. You got to believe the word of God. If you, if you truly believe God's word, you will come out of darkness into this marvelous light. You will make your calling and election sure. You will let God, hallelujah, cleanse you. You will let God, praise the Lord, make you into something that you never thought you would be. I, I heard the Bible say, thank God, hallelujah, what we could not do, saints, God came in the likeness of sinful flesh. You will notice he said he wasn't sinful. He came in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. And I know preachers will tell you that you can't stop doing what you can't do. Hallelujah. What you're doing. But I came to tell you that Jesus came into the world. Sister to share to stop the can't help it sir. when I couldn't help myself uh, I, I, I heard the Bible saying uh, greater is he that's in you uh, than he that's in the world uh, I got the great one dwelling down on the inside uh, amen hallelujah I got somebody uh, that holds me late in the midnight hour uh, I got somebody uh, amen that'll make me pry praise God ever so clean uh, can I get an amen this morning? If you in love with Jesus, you ought to tell him, thank God for the greatest creation that God ever made. Thank God for the greatest thing that ever existed. For I heard him say, hallelujah, he did it for you. Why did he do it? So that when he looked at me, he would not condemn me to the grave. So he said, Bishop, come here. He said, I'm going to come. I'm going to come and stand in your place. When you were supposed to, hallelujah, be hanging on the cross, God said, I'm going to come, hallelujah, for your behalf. I'm going to get, hallelujah, stand in your place. I'm going to let the greatest thing I ever made come down here, get in the body of flesh to show you how much I love you. I want you to know God. God is in love with the church. He brought us, sought us with his redeeming blood. That's the reason why you're here right now. Hallelujah. People, Paul, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. I got to slow down here. Paul here, Paul is speaking to the church at Corinth, trying to get them to understand you're sanctified. 
you are not sanctified because of what you did. It wasn't the law, saints. Thank God that made us righteous. Uh, amen. It wasn't, praise God, the Old Testament law. Amen. It was the fulfillment of that law, saints, uh, that allowed us now to stand here. Amen. Being justified freely. Thank God by his grace. Uh, being justified by the cross of Calvary. Uh, thank God that redeemed us. Uh, amen. Our fallen nature. Thank God condemned us. We called. Amen. We tried to do it. No, hallelujah. You can look at me funny if you want to. Uh, amen. You know what you've been trying to do. Uh, you've been playing with it, trying to get it fixed. Uh, but I stopped by this morning to tell you, uh, you need to stop trying uh, and let the greatest creation fix it for you. Uh, you got to stop trying to somehow get it together. Uh, amen. I want you to know it's not in a man. Uh, thank God to direct his own steps. Uh, but the steps of a good man, uh, thank God, are ordered by the Lord. Uh, when I learn how to let God order my steps, uh, I learn how to get out of my own way. Uh, I found myself uh, walking in a way that was mighty sweet. Uh, I found myself in a way, saints. Uh, amen. Well, I can, hallelujah, know his will. Uh, come on and shout glory up in here. People got to get the revelation. Uh, amen. These pugnacious, uh, amen, these Corinthian saints, uh, they have to understand, brothers and sisters, uh, amen, that it was God's grace. Uh, it was his sanctification. Uh, thank God through Jesus Christ uh, that allowed them to be what God wanted them to be. Uh, he said, now, hallelujah, look at this. Uh, verse number 19 says, uh, to wit that God was in Christ, uh, thank God Reconciling the world to himself. Uh, I'm talking about the greatest thing. Uh, thank God that he ever made. Uh, it wasn't praise God the sun that shines. Uh, thank God, hallelujah, sun 90. Uh, thank God, hallelujah, three million miles away. Uh, amen, it's not the sun that shines. Uh, but thank God it's the S-O-N uh, that is shining down in my soul. Uh, hallelujah, I wish I had somebody uh, that believed God's word uh, that knew it's not praise God what we see around us uh, it is what God has done in Jesus Christ uh, to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself uh, God had to somehow make something uh, that can get us back to himself uh, God had to make something saints uh, that can get us back praise God in fellowship with him uh, the Bible said what fellowship have light with darkness uh, I don't know about you uh, but I was in sin uh, far yeah, far from the peaceful shore uh, thank God but the master of the sea uh, heard my despairing cry uh, and from the waters lifted me uh, now safe am I uh, and I'm on my way to heaven uh, and I'm so glad uh, I'm on my way to see Jesus I'm on my way uh, you know why I'm on my way uh, because the greatest creation uh, that God of a uh, made himself something uh, he was not so that I can be made uh, like he wants me to be the greatest thing the greatest thing greatest thing God ever made was Jesus Christ Bible tells us saints I'm almost done Bible tells us hallelujah scriptures tell us saints that Jesus is the beginning of the creation of God he is the beginning praise God so in order for you to be born again you got to go back to the beginning. The beginning tells us he, for he was made to be sin. It didn't say he was sin or he was in sin. He was made to be sin. He was made to be something that he was not. He was not a sinner. Praise the Lord. He was not a liar. He was not a cheat. He was not a thief. Praise God. He was not a profane individual. I know they tell us, we got people teaching right now that Jesus was like you and I. I want you to know 
he did not have the seed of a man. Praise God. He was not like you and I. Praise God. Oh, that sacrifice would not have been able to, my hallelujah, make us clean. He was not. But when God looked at him, he saw you. He saw me. Praise God. I'm talking about the greatest thing God ever made. This is the greatest thing. The greatest thing God ever made was who? Jesus. And in that, in that thing that he made that was so great about it was that God made something he made Jesus something that he was not. And in the church, say, "Man, see, Paul say, well, we, 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 why are we struggling? We're struggling because we're trying to fix a problem that Jesus has already solved. Your habits, we call them bad habits. The Bible calls those, calls those bad habits sinful habits. See, you see, you understand what I'm saying?" Man who can't keep his, keep his, let me stop here. Man who cannot keep himself with his wife. See, that ain't no bad habit. That's sin. And this Jesus came to rectify that. Can the church say man? You hear what I'm saying? A woman who cannot keep herself with her own husband. That ain't, praise God, that ain't no bad habit. That's sin. But this Jesus came to rectify that. Can the church say hallelujah? He was made into something that he was not. Can the church say amen? Then the next part of this I want to let you know as I begin to wind this up. You notice he said we as workers together with him. Now what is he talking about? He's talking first of all to those that have the ministry of reconciliation. Those who preach the gospel. We have too many preachers that won't tell you this. They'll tell you Jesus died for your sins just for you can keep sinning. Jesus did not die for sin so that we can keep sinning. God forbid that we should continue therein. God never died. First of all, God didn't die. Let me correct that. That body died. But that body died so that we as workers with him could preach, praise God, the word of reconciliation. We have to preach how to get people reconciled back to God because we have to understand that we are opposed to God outside of, uh, in our own nature. I'm going to stop hollering at you now. I'm just going to talk to you. A man in and of himself is opposed to God. You hear what I'm telling you? But it took this creation to bridge the gap between two parties. Did not the Bible say that he is the mediator between God and man? Praise the Lord. He came and mediated. He came on the behalf of two opposing parties. Can the church say amen? He came, saints. The greatest creation came to what bring us back. Church say amen. Adam, Adam messed up. But we can't blame Adam for everything. Some things I did, Bishop, that Adam didn't do. You hear what I'm telling you? Adam, Adam sinned. But we didn't sin by the same similitude of Adam. We had our own problem. So what happened? God made Jesus something he was not. <laughs> Can the church say amen? Why did he do it? Because he loved you. God is in love with the church. He's in love with his bride. Can the church say amen? amen? He bore in his body. Praise God, the iniquity of us all. Next thing I want to make as I begin to close here is the fact, you notice in verse number two, he repeats himself twice. He talks about the day of salvation. He talks about it twice. He also uses the word succor, which means to aid means to help. Yes. Praise God. It means to assist in a time of distress. Wow. God came in Christ to aid us, praise God, to bring us 
back to himself to assist us, to support us. Praise God. Because we couldn't support ourselves. Couldn't get it fixed. Couldn't make it work. You ever, you ever had something where you've been messing with it, trying to get it to work? And, and the more you mess with it, the, more, the worse it gets. I, I have that problem sometimes. I, I always think I can make it better. That's, that's human nature. You got, a, you got something you're trying to fix at home, brothers, and it's working fine, but I think I'm going to make a few improvements to it. And the church say, man, I, I'm going to get some more horsepower. Whatever, so I'm going to buy this chip, put it in my car. You know what happened? You void the manufacturer's warranty. So when the motor blow up, we go back to the, to the dealership and say, well, you know, this motor is no good. And what you do? I bought this chip online that gives it 500 more horsepower. And it's a, it's a, it's a BMW bug. Your church ain't made a four-cylinder. Praise the Lord. We're trying to fix stuff that runs fine. Let Jesus fix it for you today. If you haven't been saved, come on. You can be saved today. In the church, amen. Salvation is one breath away. You've been baptized in Jesus' name. All you have to do is open up your mouth. He'll fill it. That's what the scripture said. That's not what I said. That's what the Bible said. Can the church say amen? Who wants to be saved today? I'm going to close here. Who wants to be saved? Somebody say, I don't preach that long. The Bible said he did, or, or I heard a preacher say, he that preaches long, preaches not again. Can the church say amen? You, you don't have to preach for two hours to get, get your message across. Can the church say amen? Praise God. We thank God. Who wants to be saved? Who is tired of spinning their wheels? Who needs the Holy Ghost today? Come on. Come on right now. Come on. This is biblical salvation. This is the way of truth today. Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Can the church say amen? Praise God. Who wants it today? Come on. Praise God.